Hi, so I just barely got back from the Reason to Stand event. Um, this video is going to be a little bit different than my usual ones because I, up till this point I have been really spoiled. I'm literally just getting home. I've been really spoiled being able to use Shani's equipment, having her coach me through things. This is my kitchen. I'm at home right now. Um, the event went really, really well. I am exhausted and Shani and Danny are as well. Um, I am going to talk a little bit about um, my perspective of how things went. It was awesome to be there with all these incredibly talented people, um, connect with these famous mommy bloggers, um, and also always just connect with, with Ashley. And um, it's really cool to see, you know, we did the live stream, we did the live stream last night, and it was about PTSD, and I noticed a lot of the comments and everything were about how you know, I'm so glad Shani's followers, they said they didn't feel alone. And it was, I still need to go back and watch the whole thing. It was an hour and a half, but it was really, it was cool to be able to connect with these people who've gone through so many different things. Um, and then to get together again with them today, including some other, some other speakers and everything like that. And just, you know, the main theme is just being enough and having confidence, being able to be yourself, basic stuff that sometimes can be kind of hard to, um, to digest and to, you know, that's part of the reason I'm doing this is because I really think that you know, one thing that um, Emily Myers um, talked about was how every single one of us has something that's that we don't feel enough in, that we don't feel, you know, of course, we all have insecurities, but it is a very th real thing, and those insecurities are very real. Anyway, it was an awesome conference. Um, I'm excited to do more. I know Ashley's planning on doing a lot more. Um, and Shani and I were able to reconnect with some of my friends. I was able to introduce her to some people. They loved her. I mean, how can you not? Um, but it's exciting because I really think that some really important topics are going to come up as a result. Um, so uh, that's my basic little follow up. And oh my goodness, my dress matches my couch. Totally not intentional. And a little red bouncy ball in the back. Anyway, um, but yeah, it's, I'm going to put a couple links below about um, that and also Ashley Hess's song, whether it be an old version or a new version. Um, hopefully she's going to be either on my channel or Shani's. Um, that's gonna be part of it too. Well, I am feeling like a terrible dog mom because my dogs have been locked up all day and it's breaking my heart. So I'm going to introduce you to them and we'll see if I let you see my room. I might not. But let's go and see that. So this is the aftermath of me neglecting my babies. Goliath in your bus, Uncle Puddy? Sometimes kind of afraid of the world. Okay. And Goliath is not. Oh, look, I got a package. I'm so happy. So yeah. Anyway. I'll introduce them a little bit more later. You don't need to watch my dogs pee. Freedom! Nigel! He's gonna to know this. Nigel. Hey, buddy. This guy is a total sweetheart. Hi, Nigel. Did you miss mama? Did you miss mama? Goliath, did you miss Mama? I love you. So he's getting his hair cut on Monday. He doesn't know that. It's kind of funny. They go. He goes in an incredible deep, deep, deep depression when he gets groomed. Nigel, Goliath, come here. Come here. Okay. Look at Mommy. There they are. They're my boys. Uncle Nigel and Goliath. Hanging out in my... Color, and color coordinated living room. Wow, even my shoes. Oh, that's pretty cool. And then here's Clementine. She's been locked in her pen all day. Hi, baby. How are you? Yeah. I kind of like them. Um, dogs. Either you like dogs or you are wrong. Huh. Hi. Nigel. I don't know what else to tell you guys about them. I guess it's just like a good time to introduce you to them. This guy protects everybody. Nigel. Hey, buddy. Nigel. Hi. Yeah. They're ready for me to be home. 
Huh, baby. Goliath. So Goliath was, um, his dad is three pounds, and Clementine is six, and Goliath is going to be about nine. So, we're hanging out now. Um, a lot of people talk about how therapeutic dogs are. These guys are glad that I'm home. But um, my dad's side of the family is a big fan of dogs. And Clementine. Nice to be at home to relax with these guys. Like that view. Two are pretty feisty. Uh huh. What? These two play all the time. Um. Clementine just she hides a lot. I'll tell you a little bit more about the conference. Um, I think it's going to be made available virtually. I'm not sure exactly what's going on. Um, I did. Um, it is going to, there are going to be more of them. Um, it's really exciting to see how things are going with Ashley and everything like that. Um, the things that really struck a chord with me was really cool. My mom actually went and um, to hear Emily Myers, the freckled fox, talk about her experience. Um, I haven't heard about her, you probably have, but um, she had five little, she's pregnant with her fifth kid when she found out that her husband was dying of cancer. And um, she talked a lot about um, her experiences and getting remarried and everything like that. And it was a different perspective, just you know, hearing about how her kids were and how her daughter was wanting to set her up and everything like that. That, that wasn't me. I, I've said this before, I love my stepdad dearly um, and my brothers and everything like that. But it was, I think... I'm going to be doing a little bit more research into that, connecting with Emily more. I had a really good conversation with her. Um, I was fine with my mom getting married again, but at the same time, I didn't like it. Um, a reason for that is, well, I think there was a lot of different aspects to it. And, you know, I think it would be interesting to learn more about childhood trauma. And that's something I'm very passionate about for obvious reasons. Yeah, I got it. Don't like the lighting in here, which is why I'm filming my feet. Um, but I'll just kind of suck it up and just talk to you guys for a minute. Um, anyway, um, but it was cool to have my mom there and be able to, she was able to meet Emily and just kind of share a little bit of their perspectives and everything. And just, you know, I've always known how amazing my mom is, but just to even see her in that setting with all these younger widows and, um, you know, people who have suffered trauma. And I don't want my channel to be like all gloom and doom and everything like that. Um, a big part of it is just talking about things that people are afraid to talk to, talk about, and maybe bring up subjects that um, I'm hoping that um, my followers, my viewers, my readers, um, again, can realize they're not alone in and can feel validated. Um, I was nervous, more excited than anything, because I kind of thrive in that kind of situation where I can run around and connect people and just see the magic that happens at those events and see how the right people show up. I mean, I had some random friends that I hadn't seen in ages, like my old roommate from forever ago happened to show up and we've been able to reconnect and apparently we're gonna go to lunch next week. And um, a really, really good friend of mine came to dinner with us last night. Um, but again, it's just learning about how the message gets out more. Um, how people even I know, never knew that they were going through certain situations and stuff like that and it's just it's beautiful to see that things can change and they're changing i think you know social media drives me crazy sometimes but i can see a lot of good things happening and you know um i'm excited to see more and hear more from you guys as well it's i keep hearing about that i guess i just wanted to recap um the conference. It was cool talking to Don Armstrong from Meet the Mormons and my friend Nina, who was just amazing. You guys, if you, 
She's so, anyway, we've got some people that'll be showing up on Shani's channel and my channel and just some really exciting things that are going to come up because of this conference. And so, um, <laughs> you might hear about it here and there, but, um, you know, I'm going to start getting into some other things. Um, and I'm not going to announce what those are yet just because I'm going to sit down and plan with Shani and plan with myself and everything like that. Um, but I really wanted to thank you guys again for your support and your questions and everything like that. And this video is a little bit shorter this time because partly because I, I like the lighting and the comfort zone and having Shani to joke around with and all that good stuff. But, um, yeah, it's things are moving forward in the speaking realm and with this. You know, I know I'm already learning about people that aren't a fan or whatever, unsubscribing and things like that. And it happens, it's, you know, <laughs> it's, it's a learning experience for me. But at the same time, I've had enough of you reach out and say, when's your next video? And so I don't wanna leave you guys hanging. And so I am going to make it a point to post something every week. So oh. anyway, I'm beat. I am gonna go eat something. I'm gonna relax and enjoy the rest of my weekend and just feeling incredibly grateful for the experience of this weekend and the people I was able to talk to and get to be even closer friends with and be able to connect to my favorite people with each other, like Ashley and Shani and Nina and the other Ashley and get to know some of Ashley Burke's people even more and just really, really cool. It's just, again, it's cool to see, like I heard a line or um, I heard Kind of a thought that was like the more logs you have to fire the brighter it's going to burn and um even comments from you guys and things like that is just you know i believe that god blessed us with beautiful aspects of our personalities and trials to become better i, I usually hate lines like that oh i'm so grateful for my trials i'm not grateful for my trials but i like who i am as a result um don't want anymore anyway knock on wood but um Thanks again for joining. I'm excited to continue moving forward, trial and error. And, you know, thank you for your continued support. So here I am reminding you again to let your fears inspire you, like your fears to go and speak and then see yourself on camera and feel like, like this in this awesome, I just aged 10 years. Oh, wow. Love lighting. I'm learning so much. Anyway, so this is outside my comfort zone little repeat of what Ashley Burke said. She said, the only way you grow is to step outside the circle of your comfort zone. And this is what I'm doing. Anyway, so <laughs> by example, let your, spears, let your fears inspire you to be brave and live. Thanks again for watching. I'll talk to you next week. Should we go bye-bye in the car? <laughs> it's grooming day. Nigel, look, you little fluffy Ewok. We're gonna go bye-bye in the car and soon you're going to look like Goliath. Let's see how Goliath does not look the same size as Nigel. He looks small. Okay. Yeah, he's smaller for a minute. So, yep, we're going to go get Nigel groomed. Nigel, we're going in the car. We'll go bye bye. Yeah, how exciting. Let's go to the groomer. Okay, so we go. So, there's Nigel and Goliath. They're really cute. They like to sit in the corner when we go places in the car. Don't worry, I'm not driving right now. But, yes, this is their favorite thing. I think I felt bad, kind of, that Nigel's going to his least favorite place and he doesn't know it. Hi, handsome. I love you. Okay, see you at the groomers. Nigel, where are we? We're going to get a haircut? You're going to be hating life? Huh? Come here. Nigel, go say hi. Come on. Daddy, you're going to go get grilled? Yeah? You're gonna go get your hair cut, huh? You ready? You ready to go get groomed, huh? Alright. We'll see you in, what, three hours? Yep, about three hours. Okay. I love this groomer. They're the best. Looking good. 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 Nigel, you look so good. Getting a little bit of a trim up. 
good boy, buddy. You look so different, so handsome. And there, this is Nigel's really good at this. For the next three weeks, he's gonna be scratching his butt on the couch, on the furniture, and he's even been known to do it on Clementine's face. Poor guy. And yeah, I was right. Goliath's about the same size.